my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make the easiest circle skirt ever. Seriously, it is so fun and flowy, but so easy to make. It is a great project to do if you're just wanting to start sewing with knits because it's a good way to experiment and play around with knit fabric without too much potential of ruining the project. It is that easy. So I really hope you enjoy the tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions and I'd really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button now so you don't miss out on any more videos. Enjoy! You'll need a stretchy knit fabric that has a smooth kind of spandexy feel to it and I used almost one and a half yards for my skirt but I'd suggest getting more if you want it to be longer. You also need a thick elastic for the waistband big enough to fit around your waist and you can find this in the elastic section. To make the pattern use a large piece of paper or tape some together like I'm doing. To draw our pattern, we need to find the radius of our waist, so measure your waist where you want the skirt to sit, and mine's 32 inches. To get your radius, simply divide your waist measurement by 6.28, so that's what I'm doing here, and I get just about 5.1 inches. The number you get will be your radius. Measure and mark your radius on a corner of your paper, and then swivel the tape measure from the corner and keep marking that number until you can connect the lines into a quarter circle. To add seam allowance, just add more marks a half inch closer to the corner of the paper and then cut along this curve. Just remember not to use good fabric scissors on paper or it'll ruin them. Add one inch to the length you want your skirt to be and then measure and swivel the tape measure from the curve you just cut to make marks that will create the bottom edge of the skirt. And since I want my skirt to be 19 and a half inches long, I'm marking at 20 and a half inches and that extra inch is for seam and hem allowance. Connect the marks and cut along the line and now you have your very own custom circle skirt pattern. Fold your fabric in half and smooth it out so there are no wrinkles, and then fold it in half again the opposite way, and again smooth it out and make sure the folded edges line up. You'll now have four layers of fabric, and then there will be two folds on the top, and then just one fold on the side. Lay your circle skirt pattern so the straight edges line up with the two sides of fabric that are folded, and pin it into place. Cut along the curved edges of the pattern, and once you remove it and unfold the fabric, you'll be able to see the skirt shape, and when it's unfolded all the way, you'll have a full circle. To make your waistband, wrap your elastic around your waist and pin it in place, stretching it slightly as you do this to ensure that it'll fit snugly and securely. Remove and then repin it in the same spot, and if there's excess elastic, just trim it until there's about a quarter inch extra on the edges. Stitch it together with a straight stitch and sew back and forth several times to make sure it's plenty secure. Open up the seam allowance and to keep those little flaps laying flat, just use a straight stitch and sew on either side of the seam to tack them down. Now we need to divide the band into four equal sections to mark the front, back, and sides, and the seam here will represent the center back of the waistband, so to find the front, just pull the seam to one side, and this will divide the waistband in half, and the opposite side here will be exactly where the center front is, so use a pin to mark it. Swivel the waistband so that the front pin and back seam line up in the center, and this allows you to easily see and mark with pins exactly where the sides are without any measuring or guesswork. We need to equally divide and mark the skirt waist too, so with it folded in half so you're only seeing a half circle, use pins to mark both sides of the waist just like I am. Grab the fabric in the center and pull it apart and rotate the waist, laying it so now the two sides you just marked with pins are lined up in the center, and then place pins to mark the new sides of the waist, so now you've equally divided it into fourths and you can decide which pin you want to be the sides and the front and the back. With your skirt turned inside out and your waistband turned right side out so that the neat side of the seam is facing outward, move the waistband down to the skirt's waist and then match up the seam to the pin you decided on to be the back of the skirt and pin them together with right sides facing together. Now in super 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 fast motion, match up and pin the fronts and sides together too. Pin in smaller increments all around the skirt and to do this I just folded each section between the pins in half and pinned again. And then I pinned one more time between each of those sections. Now if your skirt and waistband aren't exactly the same size, don't panic. Mine do match up almost exactly, but if yours don't, I just wanted to demonstrate here that you would just stretch the sections out until the waistband and fabric are the same size, and then just pin in smaller increments just like I did before while they're stretched out. Once your skirt is pinned, we'll stitch everything together around the waist. 
Sew with a ballpoint needle in either a stretch or zigzag stitch, and I chose to use this stretch stitch here in blue, which basically sews three rows of stitches instead of one, but if you don't have stretch stitches, you can use a regular zigzag stitch. Just don't use a regular straight stitch, because then the seams will pop when the waist is stretched. Sew each section and remove the pins as you go, and adjust the fabric and press your foot often to keep everything lined up. If your fabric and band aren't the same size, just use both hands to stretch out the sections to be equal as you sew them. Thanks to that handy stretch stitch, the waist can be stretched without popping any seams, and now we just need to hem the skirt. With it inside out, fold over the bottom edge toward the wrong side of the fabric about a quarter of an inch once, and then fold it again and pin it into place, and continue pinning about 4-5 to five inches in this way. To add a nice decorative detail, I'm going to stitch with this blue decorative stitch here. Use the presser foot as a guide and sew the few inches of hemline that you pinned. Now because circle skirts are so wide, it would take forever to pin the whole hemline first, so I like to fold the rest of the hem as I sew, which you'll see me doing here. So just fold the hem and sew a few inches, stopping whenever you need to readjust and fold again, and this will definitely be quicker than pinning the whole hem first. The decorative stitch in a contrasting color really looks great and keeps the hemline laying flat, and now you have an adorable skirt to rock. Try again. <laughs> oh, dang it. Ugh. That was really bad, but that's okay. Yeah, I guess. I, I don't know if it's recording.